Hello everybody, welcome back to GT7. This is Fly Red. And we're going to do some Fast and Furious tunes for Fast and Furious movie cars. What did Dom say in Fast 9? Someone once told me they owed me a 10 second car. Well, here's your 10 second car. Only it's not the same Supra. <laughs> this is a Supra RZ 97. I got a great idea thinking I should do, uh, find as many as I can of the Fast and Furious movie cars and do liveries and tunes on these cars. I did not make the livery for this car. Race Demon 72 did. So if you want this for your car, go search for it. Or at least give him a share and a like. But if you want it, that's where you can get it. With the Fast 10 movie coming out, I thought it was a pretty good idea to do some Fast and Furious movie cars. And they all look pretty cool anyway. And I thought, well, I'll tune them up and I'll share them with everybody and they'll be able to drive them. Anyway, well, let's go look at the parts we need. It's kind of tricky on the parts on this one. Because we can't put all racing parts on it. It wouldn't let us. So, on... The weight reduction, we got stage 1, 2, 3, and 4. It comes with sports hard, which we're not going to use. We did the bore up, the high end camshaft. We did the power restrictor and the ballast. We did the uh, racing camshaft. We did the fully customized mill computer. I bought all three of the turbos thinking I could get higher speeds out of the lower end turbos it wasn't possible so if you only want to buy one of them I use the high end turbocharger for this tune uh, you had to buy the fully customizable LSD because the other one wasn't available I did buy the increased body rigidity I did the stroke up Engine balance tuning, polished ports, anti-lag system, racing muffler, racing air filter, racing intercooler, uh, racing exhaust manifold, racing brakes, slotted disc brakes, the racing clutch and flywheel, the suspension, the brake balance controller, the fully customized racing transmission, that's what we will be using. I bought all three of the tires. You can buy any one you want, but we're using Racing Hard to tune this. I bought rain tires and the steering angle adapter. You don't have to buy that. Some people use it, some people don't. It's up to you. But let's go take a look at the tune. Good looking car. Okay, uh, we tuned this for 700 pp, so we raced it at Le Mans. 
It's really fast at Le Mans. It's faster than that Lamborghini Countach. Down the first straightaway to the first chicane with the Countach was 190 miles an hour. This one will do like 205. To the first chicane. Anyway, the performance points are at 699.65. We have 721 horsepower, so already almost 100 more horsepower than the Countach. Smaller motor. The Countach was nationally aspirated V12 out of the Aventador SV. This one has got the high end turbocharger. It's got 621.2 on the torque. The weight is 2837, pretty heavy, but it's an older car. It's made out of metal. The frame is metal. It's, it's, well, I don't know if it's older than that Countach. I don't think it is. No, it's not, but still, it's a heavy car. And I added weight to it. I had to, to get it under the PP limit. We're tuning with racing hard tires. Fully customized suspension. The body height adjustment on the front is 120. The rear is 170. Anti-roll is 5 in the front, 9 in the rear. The dampening ratio compression is 34 in the front, 36 in the rear. The dampening ratio expansion is 44 in the front, 46 in the rear. The neutral frequency, natural frequency, Learn how to read, boy. It is 209 in the front and 2.70 in the rear. That's 2.09 in the front and 2.70 in the rear. <coughs> Negative camber angle is 1.9 in the front and 2.5 in the rear. The toe angle is neutral in the front, 0, and 0 0.10 out in the rear. Uh, the fully customizable differential, like I told you, you're not going to be able to buy the racing one, so you have to buy the one that's a step under it to tune your differential. I've got mine set at 5, 20, and 20. You can set yours wherever you want, but that was best for me. Aerodynamics, the spoiler on the front, 100 in the rear, 340. The ECU, we did cut it down to 93. Uh, we added 125 kilograms of weight. We didn't do a ballast positioning. We didn't do power restrict restriction on the motor. We did use the fully customizable racing transmission. I've got my top speed set to 350. And I think I did change the gears. I'm not sure. But make sure yours matches mine. Pause the video if you need a longer look. We used the high-end turbo charger. We had the anti-lag system on strong. Racing intercooler. Racing air filter. Racing muffler. Racing exhaust manifold, normal on the brake system, nor or racing on the brake pads. The handbrake is normal and the brake balance is normal. The clutch and flywheel is racing. Here are all the parts I have. Make sure yours match mine. You want a closer look at the suspension setup, pause the video. But anyway, I thought this was a cool idea since Fast 10 is out. And coming to the end of the whole series, I hear they're bringing Brian back again. Let that poor boy rest. Rest in peace. They're not letting him. You notice his brother said that he wasn't going to do the movie this time. But we'll have to see how they put him in the movie. I mean, Fast 9, they just shows his GTR pulling up. 
in the driveway. They didn't show him, but they showed his car pulling up, his blue one, GTR. But anyway, I thought it was a pretty cool idea. If you got one specific Fast and Furious movie car that you'd like me to make delivery and tune, write it in the comments down below, and I'll do the best that I can if they have the car, or if I have the car, one or the other. If you have any other cars you'd like me to tune, write it in the comments down below. If you have any problem cars that you can't get the suspension right, or you can't get the transmission right, or anything right on it, write it in the comment down below, ask any questions you need to know, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can with an answer. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I think that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching my video. Everybody have a great day.